Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Polybridge. The Steam Black Friday sale is on right now and a lot of games are on sale. I picked up this game for about 10 bucks. It's about 17% off of the retail price. I've played a game like this before on the iPhone and I enjoyed it quite a bit. The game starts out very, very simple in building bridges and it gets extremely advanced as you go on. And uh, I had a ton of fun with it, so I thought I would pick up this one because this is kind of like the iPhone game plus. It's got a whole bunch more uh, bridge scenarios and, and those, that sort of thing. So I've been watching some of the videos of it. Some of the bridges people come up with are really interesting ones. Uh, some that don't even really act like bridges, but somehow succeed. Uh, so we're just going to start playing the, the basic one. I think this is kind of like a tutorial. So we need to support this bridge somehow. Um, typically you're going to have a bridge that will have upward supports like this. And in a lot of scenarios in this game, this is exactly how you do it. Put a cross member here. Uh, you can run the simulation, of course. We don't have any supports down low, so let's get one support in here and we'll connect that back to the land. I think this is how this one goes. I played the first few levels of this just to get used to the controls and uh, I think that'll work okay. A little bit of stress on the joints here but that's fine. So okay so this the the graph is working now because the last time I played this little white line wasn't showing up and it was kind of irritating to see where I fall on it. So this kind of shows you like how well you're doing. The further left you are the better. So you can see my material footprint was really good. So that means I used uh, as few materials as I almost possibly could. A uh, little bit, a little bit improve, uh, improvement left there, but not too too bad. Joint stress about average, and budget was really low. So I'm I'm pretty satisfied with that one. We'll move on. So two cars this time. We've got one center support. So let's get the road span across. And in in these ones, the road span seems to be you can use the full length, and it works out okay. But there's some bridges, even in the first few levels, where you have to shorten this up a little bit just because you don't want to have like four long spans and then one little tiny span right here because then it's really hard to support. Let's uh, do a center post down this away. And then I think we'll be okay just to put top supports on this. Doesn't like that one too far away, okay. Try to get this right smack dab in the center. Do the same for this span here. And I guess we'll do ones on the center here as well. Something like that. I wonder if this probably won't be supported. Let's, yep. <laughs> oh, I was building roadway. Hold on. That's why. I gotta use a wood tool. Okay, got a wood support there. I guess I gotta change these too. It should be wood. And we'll do one center support there, and then we'll attach the top. So I think this should be enough for this scenario. Might get, whoop, might get a little stressed there. We could do one more span, but I think this is actually going to work. Uh, yes. Well, it worked. It was the sketchiest bridge you've ever driven across. Max joint stress, very, very high. Uh, budget. We were slightly above average there, and footprint we were well above average, so that's okay. Probably not the best design. We could certainly do like one more span right here. This will make it rock solid. Uh, there is a bridge in my city that looks almost exactly like this. It was just condemned. Yeah, that's, that's a rock solid bridge, but um, we're going to score high on material costs. We could have done better, but I mean the joint stress was low, footprint is big. I wonder what we could take off of this. I wonder if we even need this support. Let's see if we can get rid of that. I bet we can. Yeah, it's not even necessary. A little bit of stress on the top joints though. Uh, so max jo actually joint stress we didn't do too bad on, but budget was still pretty high. So our first design was was probably the best for budget concerns. I think it was like, whoops, I think it was like this. With that, I think that's how it was. 
Incredibly scary to drive across, yet that does the job. Let's move on. So we got a bigger station wagon this time, which means we're going to have to have a bit better support for this bridge than the last, because it was just two small cars last time. So the spans I could still do full. And let's get some wood supports. I think I want to do... So we don't want to go all the way up here. I think I want to do like a, a support like this. And then I'll do a triangle span here. Upwards like this. I could also do this under the bridge, but I think I'm going to leave it like this. So we're going to get a bit of weakness on this joint. Uh, do we want to span this? I think you can do two pieces and it'll still be okay. Let's see. Uh, whoop! That's going to fall in under its own weight because I didn't do that. And it's still going to do it. Okay. Triangle here. Let's try this. That should be pretty stable. Little joint stress there, but not bad. Material cost, pretty average. Uh, joint stress, pretty low. Footprint, a little above average. So th this one, you've got to build a jump for this guy. Uh, so let's... Let's do this, we'll just do two of those, and then you can... This is fairly easy to support, actually. Last time I did it, it was uh, surprisingly easy. You just have to do some triangles here, and up to this, and then across here. That should be enough. So, joint stress, good. Material cost, pretty good. We did uh, fairly well on that map. Heavy vehicle, uh, we gotta have an angle on this one as well. Now here's the first example, I believe. See this span, you don't wanna have that. I don't think you wanna have that because that's a really hard joint to support. So let's take a, a little bit of length off of each of these. So let's pull this back a couple. Pull that back a couple. We'll just see how this works. You can make the road a little uh, less steep doing it this way too, so it's more of a of an angle. This guy looks a little weird here eh, I'm not sure if that's gonna be the best option. I Kind of made a bit of a sharp angle there when I didn't the first time oh, I just did it again didn't I okay, well, we'll try to support this so, what's the best way to do this? We want to get some pressure either above or below. Let's try... Let's try low spans like this. It's a lot of spans, but... Should be okay. Nope, that one's kind of wonky. Boom. Okay. getting there easy peasy uh, not bad on I thought I was gonna I do really bad on budget on that one but it wasn't so bad footprint was even low what did other people build that they would be building much much bigger than that I mean that seems to me to be um, quite big, really. Okay, we got a double span one now with a uh, support down here. This one also has a bit of an issue with the span length, so we're going to shorten slightly, just like that. I think the curve will help give it some strength as well, so let's work on supports. Uh, we'll just do kind of similar to what we did last time, just kind of low, low span. It's too far away, what? Okay, let's get this. It's quite a bit more zoomed out than the last one is. It's harder to see what the sizes are going to be.
think that should be okay. Alright, so now let's do the uh, road for this guy. Pretty sure this is a, a one you want to make a bit of a curve on as well. Too far away. Looks like it should fit. Okay, let's back this up just one step and make this a little bit shorter. I don't want to make one another joint coming up there, so I'm gonna back up a couple stages here. Make some shorter roads. Okay, so let's support this guy. I think we'll go below with this one because we have the pillar here. We might as well use it. Now I didn't get a, a span right underneath. I might want to do that. Okay, let's see if I can put the road in. Yeah. Oh shoot, we're just a little bit short there. Um, let's get rid of this guy. We'll redo the road just a touch. Okay, so we're gonna do underneath support, and you can do that basically the same as as above. Uh, just do the spans underneath instead of above. Should work. This is a slight bit wonky here. I'm not sure that's gonna work. I think we might get some collapsing, but we'll see. Ooh, look at look at those legs that are not feeling it here. Let's try to do some triangulation. Damn, it's just not quite enough to mat or to get there. So I'm gonna have to do two pieces. <laughs> the myth. The material costs of this are out the door, out the roof. We'll see once this clears. I think it'll make it. Oh yeah, that's solid as hell. Uh, wow, really? I'm surprised in that. And joint stress was way low. Very, very surprised that I managed to get sort of average cost on that. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. I'm just going to do a few bridges a day on these videos, and uh, I, I think this is going to be a really interesting series because these are pretty basic as it is, but I'm sure there's going to be some super advanced bridges coming up soon. So until the next episode, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.